Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Shea. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Feasible. We are helping batteries reach their full potential using ultrasound. So I'd like to start off with a little quiz. This works, there it is. Does anyone know who this is? Anyone? This is Michael Faraday. Faraday is arguably one of the greatest scientists in history. He changed the way that we understand electricity and magnetism, and his, his work laid the foundation for so much of what we take for granted, from light bulbs to computers to the grid, you know, how we power our entire lives. So Faraday is clearly important to the way we live our lives today, but you might be surprised to learn that a lot of his groundbreaking research would have been impossible without batteries. Before batteries, people, scientists, relied on static electricity, which is really difficult to work with because it would discharge all at once. But batteries, on the other hand, were a major breakthrough because they were able to produce steady streams of electricity which lasted for longer periods of time. So you could make a strong argument that without batteries, modern society as we know it would not exist. And in fact, if you think about it, Batteries have consistently been the bedrock for major technological advancements from the first car, which was all electric, to all of our portable devices, to satellites and space exploration. And this will continue to be the case as we get towards mass market electric vehicles and renewable energy. These are massive groundbreaking technologies that are driving huge growth in the battery sector. You know, by the year 2025, it's projected that we will make enough batteries to power over 100 billion iPhones per year, and that number is expected to continue growing rapidly. So we don't just need more batteries, though. We also need better batteries. And, and these better batteries, they're coming. There are a ton of companies out there that are dedicated to bringing new types of batteries to the market. You know, they're making inventions with new chemistries and new materials that will promise batteries with more energy, faster charging, longer lifetimes, and are more affordable. But even with all of this amazing innovation, there's still a huge and unaddressed problem here. The fact that we don't know how to predict a battery's future. So I'd bet that most of you in this room have a phone on or near you. Remember when you first got that phone and how a full charge would last you all day? And for those of you who've had your phone for several months, do you notice now how a full charge lasts you nowhere near as long as it used to, right? This is exactly what I'm talking about, that as a battery gets older, it gets harder to predict how much charge it can hold, how long it will last for. I would also venture to guess that for some of you, you feel like your phone's battery is dying more quickly than those around you. I know that's true for me. This is also what I'm talking about, that it gets, it's really hard to reliably predict which batteries will fail more quickly than others. So for cell phones, this is mostly just annoying, but it really becomes a problem when you are building larger systems like electric vehicles, which are built with thousands of individual batteries, which each themselves are over 10 times larger than a phone's battery. And this, oops, and this is an issue because all of the batteries in an electric vehicle, they will all perform with the lowest common denominator. What that means is that if any one of those batteries starts to lose its ability to hold a charge, it will drag the performance of the entire pack down. So in effect, your car will no longer be able to drive for as long or accelerate as quickly. So without the ability to predict how a battery will perform over time, you know, you could be in a situation where you're driving across the country and your car unexpectedly dies and you could be stuck in the middle of nowhere because, you know, 100% charge just doesn't mean what it used to. So without the ability to reliably predict how a battery's long-term performance is going to look, what do we do? Right now, the industry's solution is to just build in a lot of safeguards to prevent anything bad from happening. You know, we put in extra battery capacity, we limit how much energy you can access, we slow down the performance of your devices. We do this 
I mean, all these safeguards, they're really, they're really effective, but they end up limiting the performance of all these new, amazing innovations coming out of these battery materials companies. And that ends up stifling the rolling out of electric vehicles, and renewable energy, which we need. And we do this all because we don't know how to predict a battery's future. And why is that? Why do we not have the tools that we need to, to, to do this? It's because the way that we un inspect and understand batteries at scale is grossly insufficient. So here's an analogy. Imagine you go to a doctor, but all they're able to do is take your blood pressure and pulse. This is important information to be gathering for sure, but it's surface deep and it's not detailed enough to credibly give a diagnosis or really predict life expectancy. This is essentially how we inspect batteries at commercial scales using surface deep methods like voltage, current, and temperature. You know, until we change the way that we understand batteries at scale, we'll never unlock the full potential of all these amazing materials. And this is what my company is working on. At Feasible, we use ultrasound and data analytics to unlock the full potential of batteries. It works by hitting a battery with a pulse of sound, then listening to the vibration as that sound pulse travels across the battery, and finally analyzing the response signal to more effectively learn about the battery's physical condition. This higher fidelity information is crucial because small differences in the manufacturing process for batteries can have an outsized impact on the battery's long-term performance. And this applies to every battery, regardless of size, regardless of shape and chemistry, small deviations in the physical properties of a battery will have a big effect on how it will perform and degrade over time. And currently, the way that we use, the ways that we use to inspect this at scale rely on electrical tests, which are not very sensitive to these small differences. In contrast, sound waves are sensitive to this and can detect them and can do so quickly. And so by providing better information, a new type of information about batteries, we're enabling the industry to make more reliable predictions about the long-term performance of their batteries. In turn, that will lead to better and smarter decisions about them. And as a result, we'll reduce the need for all of these limitations that we currently put in place and ultimately enabling all of these promising new battery types to finally reach their full potential. So throughout their history, batteries have consistently been the foundation for amazing new technologies, and that's still the case today. But now with all that we have ahead of us, we need more than just breakthroughs in materials and chemistries in order for batteries to reach their full potential, in order for them to really exceed the demands of electric vehicles and renewable energy we also need innovations in the way we understand batteries at scale. And this is what we're working on. And I'm excited to be helping batteries safely and reliably power our futures.